Hello YouTubers! In this video I'm gonna test an 18650 cell from Queen Battery, QB18650-2600. It's rated at 2600 mAh and can be discharged at up to 7 amps if the temperature is below 20 centigrees and up to 13 amps if it's from 20 to 60 centigrees. This cell was restyled and now comes in a slightly different design. Now let's take a quick look at my testing equipment and rules and pass to the results of the test. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC A20, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrees and before each discharging cycle a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After the charging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. The heat shrink tube of this battery doesn't have any marking with production date code or batch number. It just mentions some specs and Queen Battery's website address. Here are the main specifications according to its datasheet. Nominal capacity 2600 mAh. Minimum capacity 2550 mAh. Nominal voltage 3.7 volts. Standard charge current 1.3 amps. Maximum charge current 2.6 amps. Charge cutoff current 26 mA. I've used 100 mA because it's the minimum supported by my battery tester. Charge and voltage 4.2 volts. Maximum continuous discharge current 7 amps if the temperature is below 20 centigrees and 13 amps if it's between 20 and 60 centigrees. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.75 volts. AC impedance less than 17 milliohms. The measured weight of the cell which I've tested was 45.96 grams. At 0.2C or 0.52 amps, this battery gave out 26.94 mAh or 9875 mWh. At 2 amp discharge rate, the result was 25.06 mAh or 9018 mWh. At 5 amp, 24.78 mAh or 8575 mWh. At 8 amps, 25.03 mAh or 8386 mWh. A 10 amp discharge rate 24.89 mAh or 8172 mAh. At 13 amps it gave out 24.86 mAh or 7927 mAh. Capacity test showed that QB18652600 is a great mid drain cell and its real capacity is about 2700 mAh and its curves look excellent even at 14 amp discharge. Great performance and low price make this cell a good choice for building a battery pack for an e-bike or a powerwall. That's all for today. Don't forget to like this video if you find it useful and interesting. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell next to the subscribe button to not miss the future videos. Bye bye.